Hello everyone, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on make files. Now, before you guys, uh, before we all step inside and start working with make files, just want to give you guys, a, just want to give you all a quick introduction what make files is. Now, make files is actually a program available in Unix, Linux, and also in, in some variant I mean Windows, especially if you're working with SigWit part of it. Okay, and this program is actually used for compiling files in a, compiling files in a, in a proper manner in a, in a, a series order now <coughs> for if you have some small number of programs like which are written in C, C++, Fortran or any compiled programming language for that matter <coughs> or any other or even some files like P, LaTeX and LaTeX and all um, it might be necessary to compile the files every now and then and update them to produce an output produce an output like if you're using C, C++ or Fortran something like that you might be the output would be your executable whereas if you're working with LaTeX your output file could be uh, how do I put it uh, maybe a, a PDF or something like that now if there are like uh, the number of files are pretty small compiling them by uh, compiling them manually could be easy and it's not a big deal but if you have a large number of files to be compiled and worked with um, and you have a lot of flags to be assigned to them and they have certain kind of conditions to which they have to be compiled let's say and there is actually some kind of an order in which you have to compile and all things can become a little messy even working with hand working manually um, for instance let's say certain file has to be compiled only after some other file has to be compiled or something like that then uh, you have to keep in mind all of that and you have to recompile stuff if something goes wrong and something like that um, that can be really tedious when if you're working with a project which has about 100 files or 200 files something like that in that case doing this manually can be painstaking and it might be beneficial to have an automated program that can take care of it and that is precisely what uh, make files are for make files are make sure that uh, make files are make sure uh, make sure that if they help us to create uh, the executables or the output files in such a output files in such a manner that uh, that they'll take care of the compilation compilation properly. You just have to give the compile. You just have to specify the compilation code or the command that we need that we have to specify um, to compile the codes or make the executables out and if you define them in such a manner and we tell them wh what are the particular files that it depends on before compilation proceeds or something like that if you just define them all of them in a, in a proper manner just uh, using make file will make us simple make the job simple and uh, instead of recompiling every now and ev all the files instead of all the files when changes are being made okay uh, make file is pretty smart. It's pretty smart and it compiles only those files which have been modified, which have been modified, thereby saving a quite a lot of compilation time. We we'll look at all of this in quite a detail from the next video onwards. This is just more of an introduction video to explain what it is. So if you're like someone who's using C, C++, Fortran, or any other uh, massive projects wherein make files are pretty necessary, okay, then uh, this would be very good for you, okay, and. Uh, before we shut down this video, I'll tell you guys how to install make program if you don't have any. Now just, just open a terminal and if you are like an Ubuntu user, you just have to type sudo apt install make. If you are an Ubuntu user, type this. So if you are using um, Fedora, let's say, you just have to type uh, instead of apt, I think you use the yum in package manage, yum installer or yast installer I guess you have to proceed there and type enter and uh, if you're using uh, let's say if you're using uh, Arch Linux Arch Linux or some variant of Arch Linux like Manjaro like what I'm using as of now just type sudo pacman uh, minus s and then you type make like that you just whatever be the command you just tell the password and then you go about with it uh, I already have make in my system I'm just going to upgrade it uh, upgrade it so you just press yes like this and automatically downloads the packages and reinstalls and that's about it okay so the only thing matters is this command over here okay um, if you do this you have make installed mostly in many of your operating systems make would be installed by default so you don't have to worry about it in case if you're in a situation where it's not installed uh, you have to do this 
now with that being said that's all i have for you guys in this video thank you guys for watching now from the next video onwards we'll take we'll take a uh, and a simple example and start working with it till then take care